Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Dave the Diver here on Not Your Professional Walkthrough Channel with me your host the man. So in previous episode we started to interact with the sea people at their village to build up their cross. We were introduced to this concept of us being able to use seahorses that I'm able to capture and able to use them for gambling. And also, we were introduced to this new drone, which is now able to capture big species. So, because we have the tuna fish event upcoming, I was able to upgrade the drone. And just the first upgrade cost me 6,000 gold. The second upgrade would cost me 12,800, so that we can use it three times. This would mean that large species such as sharks, uh, the tuna, and other species can be captured alive and therefore maintain the highest quality of their meat, which sounds pretty damn amazing. Considering the fact that for the tuna alone, certain meals can be served from just 200 gold per portion. So that's pretty damn amazing on its own. So with that said, we're gonna have to go and start doing more fishing because unfortunately on the previous episode i also kind of screwed up and tiger shark got me and so i lost a lot of things which i was trying to pull out from the water itself so with that that i'm really hoping that i will be able to get some of these things resolved and we are going to be able to continue our quest in order to build up a bunch of sushi into quite an amazing place for people to eat also we have a vip which is kind of a running joke on michael bay so michael boom or or some sort of weird name they gave him michael bang and for this guy we're gonna need to capture some specific fish so that we can then make um, a specific dish for him and also we were introduced to a new concept so now we have a rice patty and i will be able to keep growing rice and it seems like the one rice patty which i have access to will allow me to grow five rice per cycle and that should take around three days so every three days theoretically if everything goes well i should be able to get my hands on the rice for some of the meals with that said we're gonna go and call to ali because the guy who's responsible for us taking photos for the magazine wanted us to take photos of manta rays and if i recall correctly manta rays should eat plankton but i need to create a lure and we will have to go a for nighttime fishing in order to snap the picture so let's jump into calling her and start off today's adventure so I'm not really sure what the end there was for, but let's see. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Huh. I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures uh, glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you will need five kelp to lure plankton. Huh. It's made of kelp. Not necessarily, but they will work too. Just bring me some. Oh, you got it. Now, input this here. Woohoo! Got some eco points. Hey, this was not going to do. Hey, this is nothing to do with the lure. Ah, don't be disappointed yet. Ta da! The lure capsule. Oh. Just drop this lure and you will lure all plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. Ah, this must be the lure for manta rays. My mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyways, I need to be prepared to take the pictures at night. I will call you when I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so... We have that, and now I have to go and find the Harlequin Hind, Coral Trout, and get the rice. So the rice will be dealt with the farming, and I kind of need to figure out which one is Coral Trout and Harlequin Hind. So I will kind of cheat, and I will try to Google this. 
So let's take a look at... Okay. So where do I find the fish and how the heck does the fish look like? Okay, so Harlequin Hines, I think I know. And Coral Trout. Okay. I think I know what fish I'm looking for. So let's go dive in. I should have theoretically checked the uh, village. But maybe in the afternoon I can go and see if they have more quests for me. And by doing so, I might be able to increase the reputation which I have with the sea people. And therefore, I'm going to be able to do more. Okay, so I'm now kind of obsessed with capturing seahorses so that I can potentially um, have them set up for the uh, gambling with the races. Oh, wow, it's the whale again. Please don't eat me, big guy. This is the second time you came across the whale. What's up, buddy? Oh, I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie about it. Oh, there's always something going on in here. Uh, so the fish which I'm looking for is in different spot. It's gonna be a little bit deeper. Let's take a look at the, what can we find in here. I'll take the oxygen tank. Thank you very much because the oxygen serves also kind of our HP pool. So that is what it is. I kind of don't want to battle you. I'm sorry. I have already like prepared way too many meals out of you and the quality is just not there anyhow. So let's see if we can find something useful. Marine eel is blocking something out there. I need to come across grenade launcher one more time. In order for me to have the blueprint and be able to work with that. We're gonna have to do nighttime fishing. Let's see, something something good. Okay, that's definitely something good. I need to pick up the red starfish for one of the quests. Okay, over here is I really did not want to deal with these knuckleheads I can just simply now go and like discard the fish because the quality is not there they occupy a crazy amount of space and I just don't want to put up with that but now I'm trying to figure out how the hell do I deploy the item for capturing these things so do i have to knock out the reef shark in order for me to be eligible to bring it out with the actual drone itself and thus increasing the potential quality of the meat i'm gonna have to take a look a lot of jellyfish here I already have the oxygen tank, so I'll hold on to the one which I have. And we can once again drop off the lionfish, because we already have plenty of those knuckleheads. 
trying to see if there's a weapon cache so I can swap out the weapon which I do have. Uh, theoretically, also I should kind of talk to the knucklehead on board of the ship. Tiger or Macho or whatever is his name. Uh, I will be able to sell him a bunch of these things. And my objective is going to be to try and get some fish row. So that I can have certain species in the tanks. So that they can start to reproduce and I can start supplying them to the restaurant so that we have access to them. Okay, so here are the knuckleheads. Kind of wish I would be a little bit more careful with the ammo and where I'm trying to shoot it. These two are together. Thank you, Squid. Really appreciate that. Trying to group them together. So that I don't do dumb stuff like this. And I've just wasted my ammo. I think there was some above me somewhere around here. Right? You know what, let's use the oxygen tank. To go in between the jellyfish. Oh my god, I totally did not notice the seahorse. Maybe it was just covered by all the jellyfish. I need the ammo resupply. How the heck did I miss this? Okay, so we already have the scooter. I need the ammo. So good thing is now that at least the fish which I'm looking for is highlighted. Uh, you're not the fish I'm looking for. Just trying to put some distance between me and the knucklehead over there. Baseball bat. Okay, these fish are all good, but it's not what I'm looking for. Barracuda, these are the ones which I had to capture. So we already have these cleared out. It is up to me to capture these. And now I need the white rice. with the oxygen okay I was able to capture like four of them together nice strike red mullets I'm not really sure if I need them for something this is mackerel scad okay one more nets there's the tiger shrimp. Buffer fish. If I target the buffer fish from range, I can capture it. Ah. Uh, we're at 16 out of 94 kilos. I honestly have not really checked. Uh. What would be like the requirement or how much would I increase the weight capacity with the next upgrade? These knuckleheads is who I need. These two. Crap. 
shot the Barracuda. Need ammo now. Hopefully it's fairly close. Uh, so the thing is, the, the uh, yellow striped fish I need for a meal, which is quite decently priced, but I think I need like soy sauce or something for it. And that's where my problem is. That I have only like one serving or portion of it. And theoretically I should also consider upgrading the basic rifle. Unfortunately I won't be able to capture that knucklehead. He's just too damn big. That's the most unfortunate thing. I don't know if the large upgrade for the net gun would allow me to actually be capable of uh, capturing even these large species. That's kind of the big question for me. Let's go with the spear tip upgrade. Pink shell. Let's go for that. Let's get the buffer. We're at 30 kilos, so that's okay. Theoretically, I can throw away some of the stuff if I'll figure out that it's just not worth keeping it. Since I have finally figured out after like six or so episodes on how the hell to do this. I know, I'm, I'm shocked that I'm not afraid to publish this onto the interwebs. I am shocked my damn self. These two, over here. I just wish they would group up better together. be careful around here because I see that there's like a current so I don't want to get like pushed out in a weird way out of ammo I'm looking for these bones because I still need not the feet I need a different part I think I need the skull in order to complete another one of the bundles for the app so I get more points, and I can do God knows what with that. Let's see if we will find a UV flashlight. Uh, I think the oxygen tank is kind of like a real, real security thing. Having that is definitely a good thing to have in your arsenal. But having also the little booster, which I'm moving around with, is also quite nice. Okay, so this is unfortunately kind of a dead end for me right now. Uh, the pickaxe, I'll pick it up just because it will give me the option to potentially mine resources if I'll come across them because in the previous episode I was able to like come across opal and stuff like that but the stupid tiger shark got to me and that kind of uh, ruined all the resources which I hard worked so hard on obtaining Here we have one of these. Problem is I'm not really well equipped to deal with them. Meaning I don't have a weapon with damage output. That would do the job that I needed to do. Okay, there's our... Uh, I need one more of those. 
and one of the additional bundles should be like officially complete. If I grab this, I can crush the crab. Okay, I'll get more powerful harpoon. Let's get that bundle. Still need a lot of starfish. They're giving me so many goddamn oxygen tanks. Kind of contemplating actually picking one up. Damn, that was nasty. Kind of now wish I had access to that damn oxygen tank, since there were so many of them. Let's pick up the oxygen from here. This seems to be still locked up. Can theoretically pick up the damn stone? The jellyfish has died. I just want to drop this. Not on the stupid jellyfish, god darn it. Okay, never mind. Well, let's see, what do we have in here? Let's go for a tier 3. I need to capture these species so that the tank which I have and which fish of this depth reside would potentially give me more rope and by doing so i will be able to potentially have more of them accessible and be able to reproduce them supply them to boncho or sell them if i have a surplus Okay, that was just a waste of two rounds for the net gun. I think I just got back to where that one species of that shark was, no? There's a bunch of seahorses. I really don't know which seahorse is the best for the races. So it's just up to me, I guess, to practice and pick up as many of them as I can. I want to get over there because there's the fossil. Seems like a bunch of whales have died here anyhow. This one has really low quality. Shovel. I need to pick up some oxygen. Ammo would be nice too. We can crush this idiot over here. And with the pickaxe, I can pick up the crystal. to throw out some of the stuff which I'm currently carrying. What is something that I can definitely get rid of? Uh, yes. I think I can maybe like select multiple things simultaneously. These ones are not that heavy. All of these are quite like heavy but the quality is just not there so let's get rid of them until I figure out a better way to get my hands on the crab if that is even a thing uh, it's a sleeping harpoon tip 
I can go even deeper here. Honestly, I'm on a fishing expedition. I'm just trying to find what I can get my hands on. As a whip. I definitely want this guy because they provide a great quality of meat. And just like the basic portion of this sushi is highly valued. Plus, since I freed up all the stupid space, I don't really want to attack this without having some sort of proper firearm. There's two of these chests. So they can really give me a lot of things. Is that opal? Always get like three pieces out of each. A lot of scooters given to me. Blow up, blow up. Let's see what we can find. I kind of feel that the oxygen level in the tank, which I currently have with the upgrade. It's quite sufficient like trying to push it more is not even like worth it that much because what you're gonna get out of the amount of time which you can spend already underwater is quite nice as is so yeah all we need is now the rice so that's gonna take some time I honestly think one of these can be even dropped too. You know if the kelp takes up like 0.1 kilograms. It's not that bad. I'm so glad I found out how to like get rid of some of these things out of my inventory. like it's just gonna leave me with better selection of fish and therefore make a whole lot more money during service time and that's what it's all about we have to remain profitable it's the second high quality cat food if i'll be able to knock out this guy I might be just able to pull it out with the drone. But for that, I would need to find something different than a stupid rubber chicken. I swear to God, I don't understand what's up with all these rubber chickens. It's like sixth one, which I already discovered. Olive oil, I have a lot of that. I think I have like 17 back at the restaurant. I know because I need it for like one recipe or one dish, but I don't have the fish for it or something. So I cannot really make the damn thing and I cannot keep track of all the specific things which I need for some recipe. So it's almost impossible for me to like figure out, yeah, this is the one which you need, blah, blah, blah. Bring us this, do that. I really want to get a weapon so that I can try to tackle that big knucklehead. Let's swap it for the fresh one. Can directly use up the oxygen. I really don't need the Nautilus, even though there's like a couple of them. If I would be able to pick up an actual weapon weapon, I can try to go after this shark. I could have sworn that this is some sort of item that can be interacted with. Please don't give me a harpoon tip. You guys suck. still go deeper i'm not really sure how deep i can go now with the suit i'll 
I'll definitely grab this knucklehead. Getting close to like our uh, limit capacity. I honestly don't have a clue right now if I'm somewhere near like the entrance to the village. I might be. Yeah, I think I am. I think I managed to find it. How fun is that? Crap, I dropped the stone like a total knucklehead. That should finish off the fish. Okay, sniper rifle. So, here's what I'm proposing. I'll try to go grab the damn shark. But for me to pull that off, uh, I might have to make some sacrifices space-wise. Maybe. I don't know, what's like something that I know I can drop off? I want to hold on to the stones because uh, I just don't know uh, 91 kilos out of 94 the issue is where the hell was that thing if I'll be even able to find my way back towards the damn big shark and I know for a fact that the three rounds from the sniper rifle are not gonna cut it Especially because the upgrades which I picked up for the weapon were all for the net gun, which I left by the entry to... Okay, so now what I need is ammunition. If I find more rounds... That should help me out. Please tell me there's some freaking ammo somewhere around here. This guy is peaceful. Oh crap, but touching him is apparently a bad idea. Did not know that. Swear to god, you give me all these rubber chickens, but you don't give me ammo to deal with this idiot? Okay. All I need is a few more rounds to take him out. There they are. Right sniper rifle ammo. We have plenty of oxygen to work with. question is if we can use a drone. I thought I need that damn thing which would be able to capture the thing and pull it out. But I guess that will do too. The, the benefit is that because I've done it this way, the fish is not sitting in my inventory, so I'm not overcumbered. I can make it to the village of the sea people, see if I can do more quests for them. And uh, if not, then I can just return to the, uh, to the boat by the mirror. And that's one uh, diving uh, finished. So let's see if there's more quests for us to pick up. Last time we did this, uh, we had a few quests, but I, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'll be able to register. There are more and more earthquakes lately. Your faith should be strong during the time like this. 
Maybe there will be someone else who will give me a commission or there is a bulletin board even. Okay, so restaurant. There might have more work for me. Oh no! What is that, Mima? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Hey, could you venture into depths for me? Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping! <laughs> Well, I need two coral, which looks like this. You'll probably find it near the whale bones. Do help me out. Whale bones, I think I've seen them before. Okay, so two corals are needed. Kind of uh, annoying thing to do now. I can do it. And there seems to be one more quest. Maybe even the blacksmith would have something for me. Last time he did not. Still amazed with the fact that they have freaking one waterfall underwater. Even they have like iceberg or something like that. Nothing. Seems like the kids have lost their toy. What do I do? Oh, kids, what's going on? Well, we were playing ball outside the village when Mega Mouth Shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball. Mega Mouth? You mean the huge? Yes. Can you go get it back for us, human? Uh, it looked really scary. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll get it back for you. Oh, thank you so much, human. It's so hard to refuse children. Yeah, I'll get eaten by shark because kids want to have some bowls. Uh, uh, that, that sounded wrong. Let me rephrase that. Okay, Blacksmith has something for us. <laughs> Are you feeling well? Oh. Human, none of your business. Mm. Mm. He looks very ill. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? <laughs> coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Oh. Ramo asked me to bring this before. Mm. Lies. Humans can be trusted. Mm. Well, looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Banjo to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? Okay, so all the quests which I'm picking up now are to venture out and bring stuff. Okay, let's see if we can register our horse. Uh, register. I don't know which one has like good stats. Speed 57, max speed 72, nitro speed. Uh Okay. So the the zebra was definitely a great choice. Uh let's try to race, I guess. So let's see if I still remember how to do this. The objective is to keep the bar green. Holy crap, this seahorse is ridiculously fast. Love the actual punk. Damn, it annihilated everyone. 18.02 seconds. We got our first place. So now one thing. What is combined? Oh wow, there's like a freaking buffer fish. Uh, is to keep in mind that if we keep using the same seahorse over and over again, you see that its stats are slowly decreasing. So the horse needs some rest, but I still feel a little cocky. And I wanna I wanna see if I can do this race. So I will probably have to use the slide ability. I'm punched up. I punched up again. Come on! I'm horrible. I really 
don't know how to do these things, but thankfully the horse is just so ridiculously fast. I was able to take the first place anyhow, despite my stupidity. Okay, two races are enough. The poor thing needs to rest up. Don't look well, is something wrong? Oh, human. My cute Selgio has disappeared. There, Selgio? He's my purple pet but He has gone when I woke up. Well, he disappeared before. He followed the shiny jellyfish. The shiny jellyfish? Human, can you please find Selgio for me? Almost sounds like Sergio, the skit from SNL where John Hamm was playing the saxophone. He's timid, but put this high-quality food near him and he will it will lure him. Got it. I'll try luring him with food. Okay. And what is this? Ah, not again. Darn it. Why are you so angry? Junak, the pile of whale poop must have tricked me. My beluga whistle. I lost my precious whistle to him. Beluga whistle? Yes, the whistle that summons beluga anywhere in the village. I knew I should have bet the whistle in the game. That heartless swindler tricked me. Human, can you bring it back to me? Uh, me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I'm broke. I'm not good at cards. I will play a couple of games for fun. The Luga whistle? <laughs> the one the fall tongue lady gave to you? She lost five times straight and went all in. She bet the whistle in last game. She looked like she needed it. Could you give it back to her? <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> Play cards with me and win, then I will give it back to the woman. Quite an annoying dude. Well, if you say so, if I win, you give the whistle back to her. Sure, sure, let's play the game. You need to bet some money. Thank God I just bought some. Okay, flip cards to pair up the magic ones. Whoever pairs up the most matching cards wins. Uh, sure, let's bet 10. Okay. Damn it, okay, so the hero was a seahorse and there was a seahorse. That's one. Actually, for playing this and recording this late at night, I'm not that dumb. It's pretty damn impressive so far. Uh, <laughs> nice. Ah, crap, that was here. Three, four, five more pairs. You can still win. He cannot win anymore. I can't believe it. I was beaten by a human. This hurts my pride. Well, I prom a promise is a promise. Take this. It's the beluga whistle. Give it to the lady over there. What is shark tea? This game of shark which play with Juna. Remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of? Numbers between 1 and 3 are selected. I don't really want to play that. And I don't want to play the other stuff, too. Oh, I'm impressed, human. <laughs> this is it. The beluga whistle. Well done. Oh, but, but what? You need bait to summon a ride the beluga. 
I went bankrupt playing games with that dude. Hey, you can have the whistle. What? But I don't even know how to use it. It's easy. You just blow this whistle. Anywhere in the village, you call the Beluga. Though you will need to pay some pay to ride the Beluga. Well, I'm sure with your skills you can easily make money from the casino, no doubt. Oh, I should summon the Beluga when I have to cover a large distance. Okay. We're at 55 points. And I need to venture outside in order to do commissions. And there seems to be one more quest somewhere out here in the temple, which previously was empty. So... Let's go see what is there. We're gonna use this water gate portal in order to get up here by the... Te uh, not temple, but by the palace. And just finding the seahorses when I was here last time was tricky because they even managed to sneak inside. Like one was inside of the blacksmith shop i think one was inside the uh or not blacksmith shop one was inside of the uh seed shop and one was inside of another establishment oh you must be the outsider may king long's protection be with you hello what is this place oh this is where we commemorate king long it's also where we store records of our history I hear from Tenzin that you are helping out in the village. Yes, well, that's how it is for now. Hmm, in that case, there's something I'd like your help with. Uh, there should be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, that sounds like a big deal. But how can I help you with something like that? In the days when the sea people roamed the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, you must be talking about sea people record chamber. There should be stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. Okay. Mm, it was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to see people record chamber first. Okay. Alright, I'll try to bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long be with you. So I have picked up a ridiculous amount of uh, commissions or quests, if you will. But I have to check also, like, my inventory. All these seahorses, and none of them I'm gonna be using. I can theoretically release them. It's gonna give me some wiggle room. I have now all these quests. I definitely want to hold on to the Pacific Fanfish. That thing is amazing. I have way too many of these foot bones. These things only take up like 0.1 kilograms, so I can have hundreds of them before they actually make dent into my inventory space. We are at 87 kilos. Okay, so we have Tenton House, Arcade Workshop. I thought the village would be slightly bigger, but it's still a beautiful place. I'm kind of amazed that they don't have like a, a school or something like that. But it's fine. So the water in the village is oxygenated, so I don't suffer with, like, oxygen depletion or something like that. But now we have all these quests which I picked up. Holy fudge. Oh, is that a shiny jellyfish? Maybe following the jellyfish will lead me to Lynch's pet squid. 
problem is this idiot over here. This thing is fast. Remember, it's still a jellyfish, so it can still probably harm me. So I should keep some distance. Oh, fudge. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. So what would I have to do in order to get it out of it? I don't have the sniper rifle anymore and it took five rounds with the sniper rifle mm. itself. There's a small hole here. Maybe it's in mm -hmm. here. Let's try using the flashlight. Use WASD to move the flashlight. I'm not really sure what are the parameters. Hey, a little knucklehead. I think I just saw Lynch and Spat squid. He swam somewhere up in this direction. Where are you, buddy? Come on. You want to go home, don't you? I have some canned pet food. There you are. Okay, I'm sure it's inside. I should check on it. Now it swam down, and if I'm gonna find it up, I'll be a little upset. And are you like checking the surrounding water while you're messing around with the flashlight? Of course it's up. Mm. It seems to have calmed down a bit. Let's try luring it outside. Mm -hmm. Let's try putting high quality food here that Lynch had gave me. Oh my god, it's the cutest thing ever. There, I should use the bug net to catch it. Okay. Oh, bug net! I thought this net. Great, now let's take the squid to lynch it. Okay, so that's one. Uh... There was that tube coral. That would be like two things which I can do. But that was by the whale bones and they were like much higher, I believe. This is this knucklehead who can poison me. Let's try to not do that. Okay, I need to find my way out of here. I really don't know if I would need to knock this shark out. I have to be careful because the great mouth one is able to suck up water. And like pull me into its jaws and that's not a fun time okay uh, well this was easy somehow conveniently found the exact thing I was looking for one more coral I would need a different weapon to deal with the damn shark for that, I will need a chest with an actual weapon weapon. Um, these ones... Just not gonna cut it. It's quite possible that like the chest did reset themselves. But it's still giving me a crap ton of these rubber duckies and I'm not really sure what's the point of that. All I need is a weapon to deal with the damn shark. One has been already captured by the drone. If I would be able to capture even the second one, I would be ecstatic. I don't really want to grab the ammo. Kind of a little bit upset that it's this far. 
I haven't been able to find some sort of mines or something with which I would be able to deal copious amounts of damage to the damn thing. So that's also problematic. The fun thing which I discovered is that you can actually grab the stone and like drop it on top of the head of the damn thing, but it does not deal such a tremendous damage. So it, it's, it's not gonna get you to the finish line. Nine point five. Trying to find anything, but I'll definitely have to invest into upgrading at least the basic rifle to second tier. It can go all the way to like third tier, but Unless I would find out where I dropped off that stupid sniper rifle, I don't think I'll be able to uh, deal with the commission for the kids. So what I'm thinking is that maybe I'll just finally venture to the surface. Because I mean, we're getting close to like one hour of playtime already. Definitely want to grab this. I want to finish at least like one day, I'm, I'm quite sure the next episode is gonna be therefore even more eventful. But the thing was, when I was introduced to the drone, uh, I was given the sort of device which was able to be deployed in a zone, and that thing was therefore able to actually uh, deploy some sort of net from which the tuna was not able to escape. So... I don't think it's the same thing. I want to leave the ammo just in case I'll need it. But no, this is, this is not good. I think I'll just swim to the surface. I, I still don't know if I take the expressway out. If it has like the same implication as if, if you drown and that's that only something can be taken with you. It should not really be, right? I mean, you're not drowning yourself. You didn't screw up, you're just taking the express way out. I don't know, maybe I'll try to find one of those points and use that. What is here? More of the coral, huh? Could have sworn I picked up already three pieces of the thing. Definitely haven't been in here. Tiger one. Nice. Man, if I would fire that net over there, I would catch so much fish. Unfortunately, no, no. Oh, oh crap. Not good. No bueno. If I would come across a weapon, though. And I can take out the tiger and have that thing hold out of the water. Then I'm tempted, but it cannot be a freaking harpoon tip. But you, seriously, I cannot catch a break. 
Even basic rifle mm. would work for me. Wait, why are there so many fish? Okay, even Barracuda got in here. The stupid shark got here. Oh, it appears to be this lab. I should take it to the shrine of Sea People Village. Barracuda. Barracuda is seven kilos, so if I take one... That will definitely get me over the carry capacity. And I don't want to deal with that. I really want to grab the tiger shark. If I would be able to use my second drone charge, I don't know if this is like uh, two drone charges per dive or two drone charges per day. So that's something which I would also like to find out. It would be quite useful for me to know. Because if I would have two drone charges per dive, uh, that's a game changer by itself. Let's see, Max needs a weapon. Sorry, da Dave needs a weapon. Uh, something to shoot with so that I can take out the tiger. Not you, knuckleheads. Go away. Crap. Okay, he got slightly confused there. Okay, there's a weapon. Please don't let it be a harpoon tip or I'll be pissed. Nice. You can grab the silver bowl. Okay, let's go and uh, try to take out the tiger. Even ammo in here. Shandig. So these currents are kind of working me in a really bad way. Now let's try to find that knucklehead so we know that there's some ammo down here. More of the shrimp. I cannot believe it took so freaking long for me to be able to interact with shrimp. It's shrimp, goddammit. Tennis racket, that's first I'm seeing that. Okay. of damage and yet that thing is standing strong good thing is i know where to go grab at least some ammo although i have to go between all the currents which i'm absolutely not excited about because that was just painful as hell This nonsense. Swim around like I don't have anything better to do with my damn time. I feel like the next dive, I'm gonna be forced to maybe take out an actual weapon in order to deal with that large mouth thingy. 
Okay, where's the damn tiger? There we go. Let's see. Second drone charge. I really wonder if it's twice per dive. Okay. I don't know if I can improve the quality of the damn fish meat even more. I know, I know, technically all sharks are not fish because they lack uh, bones. The only bone in shark's body is the jawline itself. They're made out of cartilage, which makes them different from fish itself. Plenty of moray eel here. I don't care about that knucklehead. Let's just make it to the surface. It's a pretty damn successful dive, I think. Managed to do quite a lot. Spent a freaking hour underwater. God damn. Uh, I don't think I want to do anything with these knuckleheads, uh, so I'll just... Do that, Tiger Shark. Damn, 6.5 meters. Pretty damn impressive. 15 minutes. Awesome. Tiger Shark meat. Pulled out by this. 15 serving portions. 16 for Black uh, Tiger Shrimp. Rank 6, rank 5, rank 2. Yeah, the Harlequin and the other guys are definitely a problem. Yeah, the Pacific Fanfish already at level 2 is 84 gold per portion. White Trevally I picked up due to the meals. Uh, some of these knuckleheads I needed because of the other things. Tiger Shark Row is awesome. Harlequin. Okay, we're definitely going to have to check out our uh, fish tanks. Uh, so Whale Cry has been updated. We need to call Ellie again. I wanna... Eco Watcher. Deliver. More points. I might get something fancy out of it. But unfortunately, these things are gonna eventually repeat themselves. Although I have not seen Sheep's Head or striped catfish. So that's gonna be interesting. We need those damn skulls and I need to find more pink shells. I haven't been really looking for those. I have cleared up quite the nice amount here. Rewards, eco gemstone bracelets. Ellie. What's going on? What's going on? A humpback well appeared in blue hole. I think it might have something to say. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Hmm. It sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Offspring? Yeah, they must have lost somewhere nearby. Must have been lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? Is you're going about it? Uh, you hear a young one's cries. Can you let me know? Yeah. Well, I can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. Finding the baby whale. That's gonna be tricky. Okay, uh, let's go to upgrade. And I want to upgrade uh, the underwater rifle. It does cost only 100 gold, which is great. Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what do I need to do in order to get to this point. I need 1000 gold, I need 50 fragments, a giant true valley fin. Okay. What about our net gun? I need more rope, more fragments, and 1200. Uh, 
It would capture seven fish at the same time. Magazine size is upgraded to five. Gun that fires large net. Targets caught in the net will be high grade. Uh, the water rifle with enhanced destructive power. So because I need to go... Yeah, I'm gonna select this. I kind of want to talk to him and sell a bunch of things. Underwater cargo box. Installed underwater. Oh. They always have you gear ready before mm. diving. And I just use what's already in the sea. Uh, I do have to tell you again, weapons are destroyed as soon as they come out of the sea. You can only keep weapons that have been crafted by Duff. Yeah, it's tough because you never know what's out there. <laughs> so why don't I open Cobra Shop? As you know, I give you the best prices, so come often. Just get some good stuff to sell. Uh, that's the thing. I, I kind of have all this junk. I can sell like 10 of these alone, that's 500 by its damn self. I need plenty of rope, good to know. Uh, marble electric ray electro plaques. Organ generates electricity out of marble stingray, appears to emit powerful electricity. Man, I have only one though. Amethyst ore, that's all seven. A uh, flask. It's a piece of junk, anyhow. Some of these are crafting resources, so I'll hold on to them. Okay, so. To the yacht party. Best diving spot. They were introducing Hammerhead's Paradise, Costa Rica Bio. Hammerheads can be found in Coco Island. Whew. Damn. True is, we have not seen a hammerhead yet. Uh, so this is the ghost shark. Mega mode shark. It seems like some of these species, however, can only be caught in like two star quality. Oarfish. I don't even recall capturing the oarfish. To be like honest with you, we have the tiger shark. Yeah, we have the harlequin. I'm still missing this. Whatever this is. And there's supposed to be somewhere a freaking marlin. God damn. But there is a hammerhead shark apparently. Maybe it's a nighttime thing. I have caught majority of the seahorses. I will have to use the net in order to like capture some of these species still. Some of these can be only caught with the quality of the two stars apparently. Yeah, we still have to do like a lot of nighttime fishing, but if I do nighttime fishing, it actually kind of uh, messes with my um, ability to serve meals at the night, so we have only like a shorter service time. Sea People Village Trust, Michael Banks Inspiration. I don't know, maybe we need to check on the damn rice paddy. This actually should not really cut into our time that much in two days so no weeds so far we have some froggies this place was a little buggy when I came here the first time let's check our uh, fish farm So I've gone quite heavily in here and reduced the numbers. We have a ridiculous amount of row in this one. And same goes for this, huh? 
I have 1,800. Open area night. Expand area 0 to 50. Expand area. Okay, I'm not sure how to get these additional tanks. So what I'm thinking is we will go to the village. Uh, yeah, we have the gun. Definitely don't want to skip any time. If I'll be able to drop off some of these things, that's going to definitely help me out. And I'll try to go and deal with the shark, which ate the... Kid's ball. Oh my, yes, this is it. Thank you so much. I can finally provide proper food to my customers. I like to hear about you humans too, so drop by and chat every now and then. <laughs> okay, we have increased the reputation even more. I still did not pick up the uh, ingredients which I need in order to prepare the meal for the blacksmith though. There seems to be a potential new quest out there. But I want to go and deal with that knuckleheaded shark. And test out this new fire weapon or firearm. Uh, I don't want to get this knucklehead with the weapon that I currently do possess. Can take a look if there's a potential harpoon tip. No, that's a sleeping dart gun. I don't care about that. I haven't had much use for it. Haven't seen the practical application for it as of now. Maybe later. Let's go find that knuckleheaded shark. So it seems like really for each dive I will have two drones. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Like seriously, that that is a game changer because I can then pull out these big ass species and hopefully have a higher grade meat from them. There we go now and just recover the ammo. Ah, if I would have the net gun, yes, I would go after these knuckleheads, but not with the rifle. I want to hold on to it just in case I'll come across maybe another shark or something. So let's go drop this off to the kids. And see what that other quest is. And also I can drop off uh, the table for the... I don't know if she's like a monk or priestess at the temple to take the, the tablet which I was able to discover. So I want to at least like finish off this one day. I know it's quite eventful. So the game is really picking up on the amount of stuff that happens throughout each day. So I'm not even sure if like 100 days in the video game for this title would work out just due to the sheer amount of things that happen. So wow, it's the ball. You already brought it back to us. It was real scary. You can stay inside the village from now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad, unlike what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. Okay, so by that logic, if I drop off the tablets at the temple, that should do the trick. Uh, I 
I need to find the mirror. Wait, oh, hold on, there's something going on inside of the arcade. They really like to keep me busy here, huh? Oh yeah, I can uh, drop off the squid. So Gio, thank you, human. I was afraid I'd never see my pet again. It was difficult to bring back your pet here. <laughs> I'll make sure this never happens again. So we are officially at the 100 points, and here's another small gift for you. Sell Geo's portrait. Okay, I'll hang it up in the restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> Please drop by casino from time to time. Human. Technically, since we're here, uh, we can try to do a race. I should still have... Uh, get ready for some exciting seahorse races. I should try to manage my horses. Oh, this pony is getting exhausted. I thought he would, like, just be able to recover. Captured seahorse. This is a B rank. Forty-three. Ah, oh, man, this is gonna be tricky. We have some tr really difficult uh, enemies here, or opposition, if you will. I'm, I'm keeping an eye out on the sea on the bar and not on the seahorse. Nice! First. That zebra seahorse is amazing. I'll have to try and find another one. The problem is, I absolutely have zero idea where the hell did I catch it. So, that's, that's kind of a problem for me. That's really big problem. Okay, so I can go drop off the... I don't really want to spend the money for the beluga right now. It's easy for me to just get by. I know I just made some money. But literally, the portal should be next to me over here. Yeah, over here. So I'll be able to go up here, drop it off at the temple, and then go report to the king himself. I kind of don't like the fact that I can't swim through here and I have to like swim above it. This iceberg thing is also pretty damn amazing. It seems like it's some sort of locked up door or something. So let's see if we can make someone's wedding night special. Or wedding day, rather. I, I don't really want to know what they do at night. My goodness, human. This is the one. Thank you. We'll be able to have the wedding without any hiccups. Human, or rather Dave, was it? I think if you participated, we can become better acquainted with the villagers. See people wedding, huh? That sounds interesting. Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different from human wedding. Uh huh, is that so? You can stay in the back. It'll begin soon. Hopefully there won't be any earthquake or something weird. What did I just say? Oh snap! Well, that can't be a good sign. Oh no, another earthquake! <laughs> King King Long's arm! Do not fear, Dave is here. Maybe I have some sea glue. <laughs> oh dear, King Long. This is terrible, it's actually a very old statue. We don't have the tools in the village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. There is an omen of impending disaster, perhaps. <laughs> Hey now, calm down a bit. Maybe Cobra will have something. 
I'll try and see if anything we can use on the surface will work here. Just wait for a bit. Oh, Dave, please do bring back something. King Long, we need your protection. Okay, uh, we'll see, we will see. Uh, so let's go back to here. Report our progress. And we're actually over the 100 points. Man, I have this mentality from like V Rising and all these games. I want to just loot all these chests. It seems the villagers seem to trust you quite a lot. I'd first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully just yet, but we can use all the help we can get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see that tree at the center of the village? Yes, it was huge and covered in ice. Yes, we call it the divine tree. We use the fruit of this tree as an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom using the geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruit are created from this energy, there is a giant glacier under this tree that is under our village. A glacier on the sea bottom, I've never heard of such a thing. But as of late, the heat coming from deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface. Because we are relying on only agriculture for so long, we don't have the equipment or the tech to explore down there, embarrassing as it is. That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit that now it's our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check on the glacier area below the village for us? Huh, that sounds very dangerous, but alright. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all this might be connected somehow. Thank you. We'll sure to recompensate you somehow. Now that you'll need a key down to the glacier passage. The key. Hmm. Where's the key? Tansen! When we sealed the glacier passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right! I sense something is not right again. Human, please go and get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Swan will take you there. It's not dangerous, is it? <laughs> Nothing has happened there for at least a century. Uh, no one's ventured there for a hundred years. Anyway, we need to find out what's going on in the glacial zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. Swan will guide you to this path. Looking forward to it. I guess the villagers don't know how terrible humans can be. Remember that I'm always watching you, human. Best be on your best behavior. So I have quite a decent amount of the underwater currency. But... One thing which I need to find out is if there's actually tuna in the ocean, because I have been able to catch only those four during the first time when they were introduced in the previous episode. And so I kind of need to find out if I'll be able to capture more, because otherwise... Yeah, we're we're absolutely screwed, like royally screwed. So I need to find my way to the surface depth of the ocean, and hopefully by doing so, I will be able to have more tuna. I'm still kind of pissed about the whole fact that uh, on that day when I like received the sort of thing which you drop into a zone, it created this sort of capture area, and that capture area was what was used. Uh, to like capture the tuna. 
but on the same day I was never able to find another one of those things so I don't know if it was related specifically to like the fact that you need to have the stupid thing on you in person or if it was related to like how many of the charges for the drone you have for that specific day now, sure let's go grab that and let's see if we get a skull okay so we are gonna be able to finish off another bottle uh, I keep coming across a lot of turmeric you know what, let's refill the oxygen. Let's hold on to that oxygen tank just in case. You never know. You never know. I really need salt. I would really appreciate something different to be dropped. Olive oil, I'll, I'll take it, but I have a crap ton of it. Better coral. Yeah. You see, like, a chart like this is what I need in order to... Pick up whatever the heck that is. Uh... These are the proximity mines. So... is if I save up the yeah let's save up the DM seems like I can have three stars for the shark meat damn it I, I want to save up the the charge for the Thrown for the tuna. Hopefully there will be some. Otherwise, I'm gonna get pissed and try to capture some shark. If I'll be able to. That is, of course. Where do you have oxygen tank? appreciated if that compass I used to have would still kind of work which was able to direct me at least partially to where I need to get to now it's kind of absent so that's most unfortunate let's knock you out just to make a point that I'm the dangerous species in here there should be some opal or something, right? Which I can mine out. If I'll come across the scrap pieces, that's what I'll have to look for. And also the rope is what I'll need in order to get the bigger and better net gun. I honestly don't recall which minerals do I need in order to upgrade the basic rifle to the third tier. But that's okay. Right now, we'll manage. I'll definitely grab the skull because it's really tricky to find it. I feel like I'm not doing enough damage. Sure, let's refill the oxygen and I'm gonna drop off at least some of these. I don't really recall what a 
this up through here. If I can blow up these knuckleheads. The seahorse is this spotted seahorse. Refill the ammo. That's what I need. I'm gonna drop the jellyfish. I'm just looking for the ingredients. I want to make sure I accidentally don't have more things selected. The flasks are not that valuable. Seashells. No. Okay, uh, coral porridge for a sea person. Bancho to make it. Have theoretically a shark here, which I can gather too. Miso. Nice. Miso pesto. Uh, rubber ducky. Rubber chicken. I have only four rounds, I'm quite sure that won't be enough to kill this damn shark. Uh, no. I need ammo. That's what I need. points of damage and it's still not enough to take out this knucklehead huh plenty of ingredients still for cooking that's awesome although I'm not really sure what the hell am I supposed to do with that canned food but I have also started to pick up the higher quality one quite a lot lately I would appreciate actual ammunition Brown seashell, it doesn't seem like I need it for anything. Nor does the blue one. I think I just came from here. I need ammo in order to take out this shark. I might have to return here. To be careful about the battery. Okay, you cannot, like, do this. Come on, man. I just freaking came from there, and that's where you keep the ammo. Okay, let's go get this knucklehead. I'm trying to hold on to the... One last drone charge, just in case I would come across the tuna, but I'll have to proactively go and look out for that. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. And if it's just like that one day when I was able to get the tuna, Get this knucklehead out because there's the rope piece I need. At least that one. That one rope is enough to take the damn thing out. Let's guard the seashells because we are not using the oysters for anything. Wow, 
seriously two rounds? Damn. Okay, again the rubber chicken. God damn it, man. What is up with this rubber chicken obsession? It's maybe because it's such a shitty weapon they keep dropping it so frequently. I have no idea. Oh shit, there's a tiger again. between me and this knucklehead. I think this is the damn fish which I'm missing for that depth unfortunately uh, yeah shooting bullets at the damn stuff is probably not gonna increase the overall quality of the meat so I'm gonna probably have to say goodbye which is kind of a shame which is why I'm not really like looking forward to potentially using the damn rifle on the tuna itself. But if I'll have no freaking other choice. Because like I said, I look for that item which would allow me to drop that trap through which the tuna was able to be caught. But that seemed like a highly scripted thing. And I wasn't able to see it ever since. And that's a big, big problem for me. I'm kind of worried about that marine eagle here. It's kind of my job. I don't want to reach the surface surface. Holy shit, they have to not. And this is the yellow fin one. Yeah. I need ammo. I don't know if the harpoon would do the trick here. That one got crispy. Careful so I am not being touched. That was terrible. Okay. This is unfortunately not gonna provide me the best quality tuna meat, but I'll take it nonetheless. I have to take a look if there's more tuna. Even though I'm over the carry capacity almost, I'm actually right at the edge of it. It's still showing me that I'm over combat, so technically, ah, oh, shit, Dick. pick up you two knuckleheads, that's for sure. I want to pick up that scrap. Mm, I'm not really sure the sleep dart would honestly work on the damn tuna. Like, I can give it a shot, but <laughs> get it? Give it a shot? Uh, I don't think it would do the job I needed to do. Uh, for 
anything which I can drop? I want to release the sea urchins. Problem is, I really don't carry that many things. Okay, that's 10 out of 15. I want to take a look if there's more tuna. I just have to. When in Rome, you know, just don't reach the surface level in order to trigger getting to the ship. Shocking, we still have enough oxygen. Mallet can go suck it because it's absolutely pointless. Never like that gun. It's, it's too gimmicky. Just gonna refill our oxygen. It's gonna give me something good. Common cat food, great. I don't know if I need these two. Or something. The hell was that noise? Okay, so there's definitely more tuna, which means I need ammo. And I'm quite sure the net gun won't do jack squat, right? anything I need ammunition for this gun and I will need to drop something fragments can stay you are gonna go get rid of even the urchins I don't care come on cat food discard it it's gonna get me really don't want to capture this knucklehead I'm gonna have to get rid of him I'm just coming here for the ammo Honestly, if I can pick up something valuable. Okay, I'm not sure if the shock bang stick would be capable of doing what I'm hoping it would be able to do. Where's the damn tuna? It was here moments ago. Come on, guys. It was just here. I need a crap ton of rope in order to upgrade the net gun, so that's why I'm bothering with it. Where did the tuna go to? I'm just for the hell of it gonna try it. Where's the damn tuna? I heard that weird, like, noise. Okay. Well, that's weird as hell. I think they bugged out. So I'll go pick up the rifle and shoot the tuna. Uh, I'm quite sure that's not what the devs want to do. Do you hear? shooting fish in a barrel just trying to somehow now harvest all this meat I'm gonna try to push it to the max I don't have the capacity anymore 
hear anything else I can drop. Even sacrifice even the oil of oil at this point. I still think I'm too overcumbered. something else I can drop. The frilled shark meat. I'm gonna hold on to the amethyst and to the opal. Mega mouth shark meat I wanna hold on to. One more thing, I, I, I have to be able to pull out one more thing. That's 8.2, 8.5 kilos, 5 portions of frilled shark. This is 8 kilos and 5 portions, so there to be I can sacrifice one frilled shark meat. But I think we've officially reached the maximum. Which sucks because there's like three more tunas. Damn it to hell. I don't have a choice here. But it's oh. really looking like I will be able to use the drone every time I go diving. So twice. Stone adhesive for use underwater. Let's see. Oh good, it was the corner. It was in the corner here. Haha. <laughs> this should do. I should go back to Sea People Village. I'll go back to Sea People Village and attach the arm of King Long statue. Dude, that thing looks like it weighs a lot. Are you sure you want to pull that off? Grilled shark roe, yellow tuna, blue fin tuna. Okay, so we are picking up tuna roe. That is just yummy yummy. Yeah, level 2 is only 65. I should have definitely held on to damn... Oh, thank for the goddamn. <laughs> Should have held on to the drone for the tuna. <laughs> oh, the storm is getting rowdy. Today, the features that gives the super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't excite you as Marinka Collector? <laughs> Not really. Oh, if you go in the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find a creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go, but my diving skills were better. If my diving skills were better. It's too bad. Then I wish you luck. <laughs> so, I'm not really sure. If I should go there for a night diving, it would cut into my service time. I only dive once at night. One third of evening works hour will be consumed. So it's gonna like tap into uh, how much time we can spend serving people. But it's also the stormy thing. So, so I think I really wanna go and do it. Underwater, I really need to learn how to upgrade just the basic knife itself. Weapons shop. There doesn't seem to be an upgrade for the actual thing itself. Yeah, so we need a whole lot more fragments. I have no idea where the giant true valley fin can be obtained. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna need more rope and more fragments overall in order to get that upgraded weapon. 
Uh, Eco Watcher, missing stuff. Deliver. Ah, crap again. Damn it with the fossils. I've dropped off all the uh, starfish, so no wonder. Uh, I think I'll go for the night diving shenanigan. I really don't know if I should switch to the net gun or if I should hold on to this. Probably hold on to this. Uh, let's go dive. I don't know if the uh, photographer is going to be available because he's supposed to contact me for the manta rays. So now I'm kind of wondering if I should start collecting all these things which I saw or if I should truly just focus on the species of the fish. Maybe there's gonna be like a harpoon attachment. I don't really want the trigun now. Okay, so that's the vortex they were referring to. Let's, let's enter. It's gonna be probably a boss battle, huh? Oh my god, this thing is already like two hours or something long. I went into the vortex and ended up here. Maybe these are things that got caught in the storm and disappeared. Whoa. I think that big truck just moved. Now this is gonna be definitely a tricky one, huh? I'm gonna need the rifle anyhow. I kind of wish I had one of those scooters to help me move around. So let's see what the hell is waiting for me in here. It's gonna be some crustacean? Of course. Truck hermit crab. Oh, moving truck! It's not a truck, it's a giant hermit crab. Mm. I don't think a gun will do anything. What do I do? Shoot its eyes? I need to swim behind it? Can I turn around? No, apparently it can. Maybe I need to pull on some of these things? Make the ceiling collapse on the poor fellow? Spitballing here, I have no clue. How to defeat this knucklehead? Okay, the eyes. Yeah, so it's definitely the eyes. Okay, and holy crap, what's that? Where the hell did that come from? Okay. Oh, sh... That's most unfortunate. I got hit as I was holding the goddamn explosive. I have to be careful because this is like the only oxygen. I'll be able to obtain here. And of course I get hit. 
hit by whatever the hell that was. tank. Of course, it now, like, damn it to hell. I have no idea what the hell it's doing now. But of course, one touch and I'm dead. I'm dead anyhow. It's sitting literally on top of the freaking oxygen tank for God's sake. That sucks so much. Fudge! Just wasted nighttime diving. I want to restart this sucker. Should have definitely picked up some supplies. I rushed it. So we know that shooting its eyeballs. something and I need to have these barrels since something needs to be done with them like dropping them on top of it or whatever so let's see if that does the job I should just not get hit don't get hit the fight. Careful he does it. So when it like stomps the damn P floor or C, that's when I can get the gag with the explosives. So it's slowly stripping the parts off its back. It's starting to release some Gunk. Trying to see if there's something. Careful, careful, Dave. Careful, Dave. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
somehow make it to the other side and pick up the oxygen. And of course, it's like you're coming for the prestige boss without any supplies, like spare oxygen tank or something. Horrible idea. Don't do dumb stuff like this. Take an example from me. the piece of a claw. I think really nothing without the shell. I hope the boss card Sato was talking about has been activated. And so do I, man. So do I. Piece of hermit crap pincher came off. Should pick up a piece. Why piece? Take the whole damn thing. These are some highly specialized... Portions of meat. Vortex came back. Okay, so I I did take damage. I'm so glad that actually I did not have to like restart or lose the entire night and I should still be outside at night time. Maybe even fight the goddamn spot where I need to get to. I have two kilos only? Wow, really? Okay, so maybe I need to find some more eels. I don't really know if I want to screw around with the jellyfish. Yeah, this would have been a game changer during the engagement. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Uh, sure, I'll take these because I have to. A lot of copper. Don't really want this knucklehead. Salt is definitely something that I wanted to pick up. I just want to get rid of this knucklehead. I'm definitely not keeping him. And this space management now is going to be an absolute game changer. Okay, rope. Sure, let's get the poisonous tip. There's a shark at the surface level there. Where's my moray eels at? Seriously, where are they? Yeah, screw that. I need these for... I need the pink shell, right? So that won't do. And directly shoot these knuckleheads. It takes apparently only a round to dispose of them. Is that the copper shark? He's getting kind of stuck there. Fortunately, there's ammo for me. I want to hold on to those two drones just in case. Black tip shark. Okay. I really want to pick up some marine eels while I'm doing this at night time because I'm losing portion of the service time, which can affect the overall amount of cash that I can make. And to me, that's kind of really important. Because, like, if I would want to upgrade the drone even more, 
That's a lot of freaking money that we're looking at. Like 2,000 something? Or no, 12,000 something. If I recall it correctly. She's gonna kill the lionfish. It's an invasive species as is. Even that marine eel I've been looking for. There we go. I'll definitely pick up shark meat. That's our copper shark. Uh, 26 out of 94. I do wonder what's like the maximum carry capacity that Dave can have. Remember, kids, things are like, easier underwater to lift up due to the density of the water. That's why a lot of rehabilitation for like injuries of legs and stuff like that. It's great if you go swimming or if you move around in the pool because it's like reduced amount of energy that your muscles and bones have to undergo. So it's really, really helpful. Okay, so ammo has been picked up. It'd be nice if I would have more marine eels. Copper. You see barracudas, but I honestly don't care about barracudas. Because you can capture barracudas at daytime. There's our pink shell, which I need. Are you gonna give me something? these parts come on come on work with me uh, high quality cat food okay I don't know if I'll be able to find the stingray spot or if that guy is gonna have to get in touch with me he did said, uh, say that he needs to prepare, so I guess his preparation time is different than mine. Because I'm ready to go. So again, we have to do the, the mission for the excavation of the bones. Which is just the most annoying thing ever. Here we go, tiger. A drone to pull out that knucklehead. I'm sure, there are more valuable things, but that's fine. We need to find ammo. So, technically speaking, I can hold on to the shark. If I would do it, chances are he might drop Tiger Shark Crow. If that would be the case, that would be pretty damn sweet. I don't really want the Barracuda. So let's strip the shark. 15 kilos a pop. It's probably definitely better to use the goddamn drone on this knucklehead. Tiger shark fang. I honestly don't have even a clue if you can reach the complete depth of the ocean at nighttime. 
or if the environment in which you are swimming is changed and it's just like heavily shark infested waters but it seems like even tuna is not really appearing that much right now there goes our pink shell if i'll come across one more i'll be ecstatic that's our finish line. Let's swap it for the more advanced scooter. It's our red starfish. I don't really recall how many yellow ones I'm still missing. Plenty of glass. Sniper rifle. There's another shark here. But again, I can capture this knucklehead during daytime. I know tiger shark is tiger shark. That's just a big, big freaking predator. And I still am kind of pissy about the previous episode where I screwed up and got eaten by one. And lost a whole lot of things. That just hurts me really badly. Okay, so the fossils were still missing the bones and primarily the skulls. Yeah, it won't let me really reach the super deep waters. So that's most unfortunate. I'm still. Uh, free to carry a large amount of meat. I have one more drone to go off with. Okay, now we're officially at tier three. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Don't really give a rat's ass about Barracuda. I want shark or moray eels, but kind of pissed off about the whole moray eels. I haven't been able to find that many of them. And even the ingredients which I'm coming across are not that amazing. Really? Stupid fish. There we go. Nine kilo for one marine eel. Picking up the rope because of the net gun upgrade requirement. Uh, technically speaking. Okay, that's that jellyfish. Is there any other shark? Not in that much of a deep water. There's this knucklehead. I just need ammo to pull him out. And I'll guess if I'll be able to get this shark. We can call it night. That is if I'll find any goddamn ammo in here. You guys are kind of stingy with the ammo. Back at the starting point. Okay, so the... Red starfish, which I keep collecting now, is not adding up to any of the commissions. Come on, give me some ammo. Work with me. So I can go... 
to the restaurant, do at least a smaller service. Get some money. They're still gonna be missing. I honestly wanna get the ammunition because we were able to pick up those uh, upgrades. So that's why I don't want to pick up the Trigon, because the Trigon does like 17 damage a pop, while this thing does like 54 or something like that. So therefore it's much more efficient for me to find ammunition for this rifle compared to... Uh, trying to deal damage with the other weapon, because I would need just a whole lot more ammunition anyhow. Come on, work with me, god darn it. It's not that much of a ridiculous request, right? All I need is just some spare ammo. <laughs> yeah, now we're at level 4, so the damage output is gonna be even better. can't make this stuff up. Um, oh, I've picked up the ammo somehow. I think the upgrade might have done the job for me. Okay, I can work with that. Let's go find our shark boy. I'll pick up the sea urchin. Just because I can. So overall, harvested... One shark, two shark, three shark. It's gonna be four sharks. Careful about the jellyfish. Yeah, so 70 points of damage with single round. That's pretty damn impressive. And I have the uh, shark head for the specialty dish, so let's call it quits. Do the service? Holy crap! This recording is already so long. <laughs> and it's one day! You found the super rare boss card! Astounding, you must have a natural born Marinka collector. You must be a natural born Marinka collector. Sorry, it's super late that I'm recording this. The sea was unrelenting with all those terrifying sea creatures. That was some serious stuff. <laughs> That's not a big deal compared to the awesome super rare boss Ew. card. But I went through all that. Mm. Now, taps, uh, share card with friends like this. All right, there we go. Keep up good work. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like they combined Ash Ketchum with some sort of gorilla to me. Okay, we have black tip reef shark bro, copper shark bro, white tip reef shark bro. We really have to go and deal with the surface now because who see time. And hopefully on the next episode I'll be able to acquire even more tuna. Bluefin tuna, yep. Research, uh, hermit crab is stir fried. That only requires one of the ordinary fires. Fifty-four, a portion of that. Goddamn. Move and tuna fillets on top. A bowl of rice, of course. A bowl of rice with the elephant tuna, Akami fillets. This one is 360, so let's go for that. And I'm gonna need a whole lot more fire. Ingredients. Yeah, we have canned food. I don't really know what that's gonna be used for. Question is now, if I'll have to go and actually fight some of these bosses so that I have some of these ingredients again for cooking and prepping of meals. That's an interesting... That's an interesting question. We 
can sell these. So I think this is like a new feature to the game where you can actually go and sell some of this stuff. Okay, menu. What do we want to sell? Black vinegar. Sure. 554, a portion of that. Goddamn. even this so let's do it I want to get the most out of these portions so if I'm able to sell these for over 100 gold per portion that's definitely something I'll be doing Mega mouth 180 for a portion of these. 200. That's going on the menu. So even though I have like a heavily reduced amount of time for serving purposes. I'm hoping that I'll be able to enhance these suckers and therefore charge absurd amount of money for the meal. Hundred per portion, marine eel. I, I don't really want to use the marine eel for that. I would rather use it for some of these. The striped red mullet, okay. It would actually consume all of that. So let's go with this. Rain eel and turmeric, 123. We can make one reef shark meal. Kind of shame. This thing is only 22, that won't cut it. White Trevally, kelp, and soy sauce. Can only serve one? Damn it. Copper shark meat. Trying to figure out what to serve next. I'll definitely have to fetch that damn tuna, that's for sure. Let's go with this. It's 292. I don't want to go super crazy with the amount of things which I'm serving. Because we have also the reduced time. So let's see, with the limited menu. Stay in the middle in case someone wants a uh, beverage. Let's give Bancho more of the wasabi to cook with. Let's clean up. That's apparently the only thing I'm good at. Don't have the speed to move around fast enough. I 
and we have served officially everyone. So even with the remove or reduce, sorry, uh, time, still able to make three grand, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, it does not compare to the previous night, but the thing is, the previous night, which was the previous episode, I spent the entire night serving people meals, so we served a whole lot more dishes, a whole lot more beverages. It's a long road becoming great master. Man, you really need to clean that room. Uh, I would not be able to function in that. Is that like a body pillow or what the hell is going on? This guy obviously watches way too much anime. Uh, a live stage begins in Duff's stream. Uh, press the high button, reaches the cursor, press left or right mouse button. Use mouse to move your hand up and down and hit the green note. Oh crap. When an orange note appears, shake the left and right for loud applause. I'm gonna fuck this up so badly. People are cool shit kind of guy, but uh, I do love me some drum and bass too, but uh, I've never got into K-pop and other things like that, so I don't know. I think we're gonna call it quits. I definitely don't want to play my score. Is he gonna suffer a heart attack? I really wanted to capture the screenshot of her holding those fingers like a heart shape, but oh well. Okay, oh my god, new mobile game called Leah's Run. I I I feel like we have done already enough. It's almost like 3 hours long video, god damn it. He's going to watch this this long. Ah oh, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day people are gonna return back to all my content and maybe view it just for the hell of it. Anson asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage key. I must return to the Elder's place and the Sea People Village. So yeah, 
a farming report is available. Uh, farm now. Growing harvestable nutrition is 90. Nutrition is 85. I'll definitely have to return back and increase the nutrition of the soil so that uh, we have a better uh, quality of crops. But yeah, uh, we still have one more day to capture as many of the... How the hell do I improve the nutrition? I don't see any weeds in the rice paddy. I'll grow the rice. I need to kill the insect. Okay, so this section here tends to be a little buggy. Do I have to like kill the dragonfly? Just kill the insect, but the insect is like outside of the rice paddy, so I'm not really sure. But anyhow, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So I do hope you all enjoyed it, uh, even despite the fact that I don't think anyone's gonna watch until this point. But still, I had a blast. This game is absolutely amazing, a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So yeah, I'll definitely try to finish it up. And if you want to know when the next adventure in Dave the Diver is going to be on the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm going to wish you a blessed rest of the day as we have a VAP guest. We have a tuna event coming up. There's a lot of stuff. So I cannot wait to get into it next time. Thank you all and see you in the comments or at the next one. Also, check out the channel for other fun content like 100 Days in Video Games and other stuff.